In this video, I'm going to give you two keys that will help you unlock the parallel scheme. Once you're able to keep your skis more parallel, uh, it will open up a whole lot more of the mountain. And that means a whole lot more fun. The first key is to balance on your outside ski. The outside ski is the ski farthest from the center of the turn. A good way to practice balance on the outside ski is to lift the inside ski. Start out with this stationary tapping exercise, facing across the hill in the familiar snowplow position. Bend your outside knee and let your body move over your outside ski. You're now able to lift and tap the inside ski. As you tap, you can let your inside ski move towards your outside ski until they are parallel. Only tap the tail of the ski to help you stay in better balance. Now do the exact same thing when skiing across the hill. Find your balance on your outside ski and start tapping. Practice this until you're able to keep your skis parallel in a traverse. At the end of the parallel traverse, it is perfectly normal to still use the snowplow for speed control and turning. You can also do small jumps in the traverse to help you get into the parallel position. The next step is to do the tapping exercise in the turn. Start tapping earlier and earlier in the turn until you're able to tap during the whole turn. Keep the tail of your inside ski lifted through the whole turn if you feel confident and want an extra challenge. The second key is to make an up and forward move to help you release the turn. Once you get this, it will become a lot easier to start the new turn with parallel skis and shift your balance to the new outside ski. Start out in this stationary exercise to get familiar with the new move. The up and forward move should make you light on your skis and move your balance a bit more to the front of the skis. Keep contact between the shin and the boot and let your head and shoulders lead the way. You can exaggerate the movement to see if you can propel yourself forward on flat terrain. This is a good way to check if the movement is helping you in the right direction. Practice the up and forward move in a traverse. Stay connected to the skis with your whole foot even as you go up. The next step is to get the timing right to start the turn. Start out like before in a traverse. Prepare for the turn, move up and then turn on your new outside ski. When you're ready, you can start linking the turns with your up and forward move. You now go, prepare, up, turn, prepare, up, turn. Refine the up and forward movement but only do it as much as necessary to release the edges and start the next turn. Keep a continuous movement going to achieve smooth and fluid skiing. When you're ready, you can play around with shorter turn radius and adding a pole plant. I hope you like these two keys for unlocking parallel skiing. If you did, leave a like and subscribe to the channel and have a nice day and see you on the slopes.